Why are more and more members of Congress ignoring the needs of their voters? The influence of lobbyists over congressional representatives, often at the apparent expense of voter needs, is a complex and controversial issue. Here are 10 reasons why lobbyists are becoming more important than voters. 1. Campaign financing. Lobbyists and the organizations they represent stand as significant sources of campaign contributions, wielding financial power that can sway the priorities of congressional representatives. In the pursuit of securing vital financial support for their re-election campaigns, these representatives may place the interests of lobbyists above those of their constituents. This dynamic often leads to a controversial alignment of legislative priorities with those of influential donors, rather than with the needs of the wider electorate. 2. Revolving door. The revolving door phenomenon, where government officials and congressional representatives transition to lucrative positions in lobbying firms upon leaving public service and vice versa, establishes a cycle of mutual benefit and loyalty. This interplay fosters a relationship where both lobbyists and legislators are incentivized to prioritize each other's interests. Consequently, this cycle not only perpetuates the influence of lobbyists within legislative processes, but also raises concerns about the integrity of public service and democratic representation. 3. Policy Expertise Lobbyists frequently offer specialized knowledge and critical information on complex legislative issues, becoming invaluable resources for lawmakers navigating intricate policy landscapes. This reliance on lobbyists for expert insights can inadvertently lead legislators to prioritize the viewpoints and interests of these influencers over others. As a result, the legislative process may become skewed with policies reflecting the agendas of well-connected lobbyists rather than the broader public interest. 4. Access and Influence Lobbyists wield the resources necessary to maintain a constant presence in Washington, D.C., affording them direct access to lawmakers that the average voter simply cannot match. This ongoing engagement fosters relationships that can significantly influence representatives, subtly guiding them to align more closely with the lobbyists' interests. Consequently, the persistent influence of lobbyists can overshadow the voices and concerns of the general electorate, swaying policy decisions in favor of specific, well-represented interests. 5. Legislative Assistance Beyond their traditional role of lobbying interest groups and their lobbyists occasionally take a more hands-on approach by assisting in the drafting of legislation. This involvement allows them to tilt the scales, shaping laws in ways that disproportionately benefit their interests, often before the public is even aware or able to offer input. As a result, this preemptive influence undermines the democratic process, enabling private interests to embed their agendas into the legal framework under the guise of expertise. 6. Voter Disengagement In situations where voters are disengaged or lack information on issues, representatives may lean towards the perspectives of well-organized and vocal interest groups that actively participate in the political dialogue. This shift occurs as these groups fill the void left by the general populace, presenting their interests as broadly representative, even when they may not be. These policies and decisions made can reflect the priorities of a vocal minority rather than the collective will of the electorate. 7. Electoral Security In districts with safely held seats, where the likelihood of electoral defeat is minimal, representatives may perceive themselves as less accountable to their constituents. This sense of security can make them more susceptible to the influence of lobbyists who offer support and resources in exchange for legislative favor. Consequently, the interests of a select few may take precedence over the broader public's needs and desires. 8. Political Ideology Alignment At times, the objectives of lobbyists find common ground with the personal beliefs or party ideologies of legislative representatives. This alignment facilitates a smoother prioritization of lobbyists' interests as they resonate with the lawmaker's own convictions or strategic goals. Consequently, this synergy can lead to the sidelining of the general voter preferences as ideological affinity between lobbyists and representatives takes precedence. 9. Quid pro quo Although it contravenes legal standards, the perception persists that a quid pro quo relationship flourishes between lobbyists and lawmakers, where lobbyists provide something of value in exchange for legislative favors. This perceived reciprocal arrangement severely erodes public trust in the motivations and integrity of their representatives. Consequently, it fuels skepticism and cynicism towards the legislative process, suggesting that decisions may be unduly influenced by special interests rather than the public good. 10. 
public interest versus special interests. Representatives sometimes support lobbyist-driven initiatives, convinced that these actions serve the public interest despite facing popular opposition. This stance often stems from a belief in the long-term benefits of such initiatives or aligns with their ideological convictions. Subsequently, this can lead to a disconnect between elected officials and their constituents as decisions that seem counterintuitive or opposed to immediate public sentiment are pursued in the name of perceived greater good. In summary, while many of these explain why a Congress rep may legitimately gravitate toward to the concerns of lobbyists, there are two things that are disturbing about this. The first is that lobbyist influence is becoming more and more normalized Voters often notice how the dialogue of new congressional members noticeably change within a few months. Secondly, about one-half of congressional members become millionaires, while less than 5% of normal Americans become one. And that's despite the fact their congressional salaries do not reflect a millionaire-level salary. Think about that.